Shohei Otani just hit his 40th home run of the season after pitching eight innings, only giving up one run and six hits. Wow. I mean, wow. What <laughs> what can you say? What the first guy to hit 40 home runs on the season just pitched for eight innings and only gave up one run. Like <laughs> what? This is this is history, folks. This is it. This is as legendary as a player can get. He had eight strikeouts, and that one run they got was on a home run. Wow. Mickey Cabrera? Did he just hit number 500? Warning track. Oh, oh, I was about to lose it. I thought Mickey was about to hit his 500th home run in the same game Otani did what he did. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're back. But let's go back to Shohei Otani. How? How can someone so gifted at a, at a sport exist? Yeah, there's Dion, there's Bo Jackson, there's all these big names. But to be able to throw 100 miles per hour and hit a ball at 100 miles per hour, to go for eight innings and only give up one run, and the Angels needed every bit of that. If the Angels didn't have Shohei Otani pitching, I would imagine the Tigers scored more runs this game and they would have lost because they were only able to put up three runs. And one of those runs is because of Shohei Otani. There is no one on this planet who plays baseball as well as Shohei Otani does. Once again, Shohei Otani dominates the sport of American baseball. In Japanese, it's called Yakyu, I believe. And he is so proficient at it. There's no one on the planet even close to him. That is Shohei Otani. That is Shohei Otani-san. He is a man amongst, amongst boys. Incredible. I'm just, I'm just glad I'm able to watch it and I'm able to talk about it. Because Shohei Otani is a different, different class of baseball player.